Hi, I'm William Spaniel. Let's learn some game theory. Last time we looked at a continuous version of the ultimatum game. Now we're going to allow for a single counteroffer, and we're also going to introduce a new concept, the discount factor. And there he is. Say hello to him. He's going to be your new best friend. We use the discount factor, represented by the lowercase delta on your screen, to represent time passing. A dollar today is worth more than a dollar tomorrow. That's a basic concept of economics, but there's still a question on how to represent that mathematically. Well, that's what the discount is for. A dollar today is worth one dollar, obviously. But a dollar tomorrow is only worth discount dollars. And we throw in the rule that the discount must be between zero and one. This guarantees that it will always be worth something, but that it will never be worth the same or more than the original amount. For example, when discount equals 0.9, a dollar tomorrow is worth only 90 cents. And we can keep repeating this process. So two days from now, a dollar then will only be equivalent to having 81 cents today. Getting back to the game, if B rejects A's offer, then some amount of time passes, and that's a costly delay. So when B makes the counteroffer, the maximum they can split is functionally only discount dollars. Hence, B's counteroffer must be between zero and discount. Once again, we'll start at the end to solve this game. And we see that A will accept any offer greater than zero. That's just basic backward induction. Now, if you recall back to last video, that means the player making the offer is allowed to offer the other the limit as that offer approaches zero, which is, of course, zero. That might be a little bit linguistically confusing, so I'll repeat it. The player making the offer is allowed to offer the other player the limit as that offer approaches zero, which is zero. So B offers zero, and A accepts that offer. Now we have to backtrack to A's offer and see whether B will accept it. A knows that B will eventually receive the discount dollars if she rejects the offer. So to get B to accept his offer, A must give B at least that amount, at least discount dollars. And note that if he does offer a discount, he will get 1 minus the discount. And because the discount is less than 1 by definition, this is more than the 0 he would have gotten had he continued the game and forced B to make a counteroffer. So A offers B discount. B accepts that offer, and the sides reach an agreement without delay. Next time, we'll expand this game to infinitely many offers. And although that might seem daunting, you'll find that the solution is actually elementary.